Changes are coming to Owasso High School's homecoming tradition, and not everyone is happy about it. Students made the decision to kick off homecoming celebrations without a parade, and now hundreds are signing a petition in protest. News on 6's Amy Slanchik shows us how Owasso will celebrate instead. The homecoming pep rally will take place at the stadium in just a few weeks. It's meant to be a community event, not just for high schoolers. And right after that, there will be a festival instead of a parade. These pictures capture memories made at the Owasso homecoming parade in years past. Like many families, it's a tradition for Holly Hubble and her second and seventh grade children. It's just very important for us. It's something that we look forward to every single year. But this year, there won't be a parade. We all love this school. We all love this community. Um, I think that's why we're fighting so hard to keep the tradition of this parade. Change can be hard. Change can be scary. Jesse Anderson is a senior at Owasso High and part of the leadership class that made the decision to go with a festival instead of a parade. He says that decision was made after learning about unexpected fees for a city permit and concerns about having enough space for everyone. We were running into where we were having to limit the amount of floats in the parade. But there were so many people that wanted to be involved. The leadership class is made up of about 25 students, some in elected positions, who make decisions together when it comes to school events. It wasn't just an overnight decision, like some may believe. Um, it was actually a very long, um, almost a month long conversation that happened. But there's another conversation happening online. Nearly 700 people, including Hubble, have signed a petition to keep the parade. We would like for them to, to reconsider, if not for this year, then for next year. Anderson also tells me the festival, which will be on school property, will allow student organizations to have all the space they need for homecoming festivities. Amy Slanchik, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.